Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you're a returning viewer. So if you'd like to see how I installed this 5x5 HD curly texture wig from Clayey here with added wand curls, that is a very, very detailed amount to add. Keep on watching. So we're starting off with my hair slicked back and I have these braids in. They're pretty old, but my hair's still flat, so that doesn't matter. But yeah, so I'm stretching out my cap. This is actually a very stretchy cap, but I'm placing that on my head all the way down to my eyebrows to get that nice stretch. And now I'm just cutting out my ears, you know, for a more comfortable, um, well, I guess it didn't really matter since it was a closure and all this was going to be cut off anyways, but I still did it out of habit. <laughs> so for the bald cap, I'm using my Ebon Wonder extra firm hold lace spray that is the red can and I'm placing that right below my hairline like where I want the new hairline to be if that makes sense so that is what that's going to look like I'm going to blow dry that on a high a uh, cool setting until that is dry and I wanted this to be a little bit more flat so I took some of my ghost bond lace glue and I'm applying that with this popsicle stick here but I'm also smoothing it out with my finger since it was such a little amount it kind of just helped smooth everything over and I'm going to blow dry that on the same setting until that is dry now that that is dry <laughs> I'm taking my scissors and I'm going to cut around all of that extra cap that we no longer need since this is a five by five closure I'm cutting all of that extra stuff off like So I'm taking my RD15 Cream Foundation by Ruby Kisses. It is in the shade RD15 to be more specific for you. And my foundation brush, and I'm applying that right where the lace is going to be. I didn't want to use too much because my product is almost gone. The wig is on my head. As you can see, I already have the baby hair. It's pretty much mapped out. I did that while I was plucking, but I'm pushing that back for installing it. I don't want to leave those out while I install it. I just like my hair to be pushed back. So I'm using my hot comb to push all of the hairs back as you can see. And once that's done, I'm going to clean my hairline with some alcohol and a proper towel because you do not want none of that leftover makeup residue or just any oils on your skin interfering with how the wig will melt. You want it to be very sticky you know it's not gonna be very sticky if you have a dirty forehead but anyways taking my popsicle stick and my ghost bond glue and I'm smoothing this glue out as you can see I like to use a thin layer and basically just smooth it out kind of like level it up as I go sometimes I use my finger to help smooth it out which is nothing wrong with that as long as your hands are not dirty but um yeah so I am going to blow dry that first layer with a cool high setting and then I'm going to go on with my second layer and then my third because I did three layers That, that last layer is tacky and ready i'm going to press this lace into my skin i'm making sure that i'm placing it right where that glue is it's not going to be that hard to tell when you're really looking at it where that glue is and you just want to press it and melt it and it melted very nicely like this the wig fit very snug so it was no lifting or nothing of the matter but now that that is done i'm taking my white tooth comb and a blow dryer on the same setting cool and high <laughs> and i'm just melting the hairs and the lace even further and then i'm going to pull back out those baby hairs that i had before before i take my elastic band and tie all of this down So I'm going to let this sit for maybe 10 minutes and boom, now we are done. It is set and now we're going to cut off the lace. When removing the extra lace, you want to make sure that you are moving your razor in like a jagged motion because when it is straight, it's kind of noticeable, especially in different lightings, that it's lace. You know what I'm saying? Like when you have it zigzag, it's like blendable. I don't know how to explain it, but yeah, girl, make sure you cut it in a jagged motion for the best result now that that is done the lace is off i'm taking my hot comb and i'm just pressing out 
these baby hairs a little bit more before we curl them. When I cut my baby hairs, I don't do them kind of in a straight motion. I kind of do it sporadically so that it kind of has a natural look to them, if that makes sense. It's more natural that way instead of going like in a line, even though that doesn't look bad either, but I just prefer to do it a little bit more um, messy. Now I'm taking my Kiss flat iron. This is a half inch pencil flat iron. This is perfect for baby hair. So yes, please get this from your local beauty supply store, but I'm curling the baby hairs upward. I usually go like under, but recently I've been feeling the upward look for the more messy baby hairs. But I'm taking my got to be glue gel in black and I'm only placing that on the top of the baby hairs, not all the way through the curled part because it just allows the gel and the comb to kind of I don't know, it's not as, they don't come out hard. Like they're movable when you do it this way, when you don't use a lot of product, but yeah. So I did this very, not slow, but I showed you guys pretty much the whole process. So yeah. So I really like how they came out. They were fluffy, they were a little bit messy, and they were short and cute. So yeah, those are the baby hairs. Now for these wand curls. So the brand is spelled T-Y-C-H-E for the wand curl. I don't know exactly how that is pronounced, but nevertheless, this is a half inch wand curler. It is a straight one. It doesn't have like that um, cone type uh build to it but anyways this was my first or the second time doing wand curls and my first time doing it with this um size so they didn't come out as clean as i wanted them to but they it wasn't bad at all you want to make sure you brush out these curls first as well as add heat protectant which i did do that before and i will show you guys that later on the other side but yeah so i'm just really wrapping this is really self-explanatory you guys what i'm doing here but um the right side which is the side that i'm doing now i wasn't feeling as much as the other side which you guys will see why i think it's because i didn't use the heat protectant right before adding the curls to it and also i curled away from my face i didn't realize that it would have been smarter to curl towards my face for this look that i was going for so it just looked like two different vibes like <laughs> on the other side but it's okay it still came out cute so next time that i do one curls i will definitely make sure to curl everything to the front so it can have like a twist out look to it instead of like wand curls you know on curly hair if that makes sense but yeah so you guys can watch the process of me doing this This side also looked better because I used smaller portions and that just made it look more, I don't know, more curly once everything was kind of shaked out and done. So I suggest to use small sections. Don't use, you know, anything bigger than half of an inch really. You want to use the same type of, not the same type of piece, but the same measurement as the curling iron. I think it'll come out cleaner that way. I finished the other side off of camera. I needed to stand up for that because <laughs> I feel like it just came out better with me standing up. But I just used some more of my heat protectant. I'm trying to get 
the front to be super flat now my only problem with closures is they look so big on my head like this wasn't super flat on the top of my head i basically had to work harder to get this flat so i'm using my wax stick as well to really try to get this flat and i didn't want to put a scarf on top of it and ruin the curl so it wasn't as flat as i would like it to be but now that everything is flat and looking a little bit more seamless i am taking my rd 09 cream concealer and i'm taking that not cream concealer but cream foundation and a slim brush to get the part more defined and i'm just smoothing that out with my finger to make it look more natural and this is the completed look thank you guys so much for sticking through this whole video and watching me do my hair getting these tips and all of that make sure to check the description box for all of the information on this hair as well as a discount code that is there Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next one.